of destruction You're bringing me down Why'd you come over? Are we over? Are you playing me down? Ce qui est le fun, c'est qu'il s'attend à ce que je sois à l'aile droite. You hold me down, you should figure it out. C'est dans ta bulle. Euh, les deux, Mario. Okay. <rire> oh. Call deux, t'as moué. <rire> Moi, je gagne toutes les trophées. Là, t'as un titre. Quoi? Oh ouais. Bonne saison, les boys. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Tri City cuts off against the boards. Stop that one. And it's a quick pass to La Joie. The Wolves have it now. Handles the puck. Sudbury's across the blue line. He got all of that hit. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Lax lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Down the and on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Lax turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Smart defensive play there. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Sudbury's looking to break out of their own end. That one stung, and he's slow to get himself back together here, James. I want to look at that again. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Gets it back. And he's ridden off the puck. And that banks off a stick. Bang on passes center in the neutral zone. And he takes a oh, shot. Okay. And he rings the post. Pretty tough to come much closer than that, James. Nobody can score, but the posts aren't helping either. Driving right to the front. Picked up along the boards by Svechnikov. Absolutely levels him. And he scores. Sudbury's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. Eight, by eight, Moves it to Crosby. That pass doesn't go. Makes a move in front. Ooh. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Sudbury's won the draw. Scored by number four. Quick feed to Marco. Slides the puck over. Here's a shot. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Sudbury's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Quick feed down low. Right up front, and they can't connect. Tries to get the puck to Horvat. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Tri-City's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't find his man. Takes the feed. 
On the he says, let's get physical on that play. There's the whistle icing the call. More than half the period has expired, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Slippery's won the faceoff. They'll be back on their heels. They lose the draw after they've iced the puck. They're a little tired. Quick pass to Crosby. Couldn't make that one happen. Flailing at it with a stick to try to get control. Scooped up along the wall by Lejoie. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's the pass. Ooh. There it is. There's the hat trick. That puck barely hit the back of the net, Jake. And his teammates are already up on their feet. Everybody enjoys watching a player get three. I'm pretty impressed that the shooter would even think to shoot it from there. He makes a perfect shot that the goalie's not expecting. The setters will glide into the dot. The Wolves get a hold of the puck off the draw. He's third of the game, scored by number four, assisted by number 90. Moves it quickly over to Le Wax it into the offensive zone. Boss takes the puck. Moves it on over to Svechnikov. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. On the backhand! Stopped by the goaltender. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. Lax getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lumping. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Whiffs on that. Tremendous hit against the wall. Yeah, unless you're the guy carrying the puck. Man, that's got to hurt. Everybody loved it but him. That's off a stick. Takes the puck along the boards. Stays with it. Shot, and he says no. From the back of the cage with the puck. Unloads one. Oh, he'll feel that one later on, but what a block. Taken along the wall by Crosby. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Sudbury's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. The Americans win it. Dumped into the opposite corner. Sudbury's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Wolves have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Crosby's won it. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. And he slides it quickly to Marco. Moves the puck. Dishes it to Lachois. And now he tries to get it across to Marco. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice. But I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well. Lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Set 
to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Tri-City's probably in a spot to be the... He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal needs the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play. Take some chances. Get up the ice. You've got to get another one. The Americans have shown some life here in the second. It's about time, James. They're down two. They've got a long way to go to claw back into this. Sudbury's won it. Puck grabbed by Lejoie. Now a quick pass to Svechnikov. Great heads-up play in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Bon, je suis le. Désolé. Still early on in this frame, James Moi. Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Tri City still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Slides yeah, in off the it. wing after the centerman tied him up. Saison. Into the corner now. Takes the puck and loses control of the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Great pressure forcing the turnover. He tries to tuck it in. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. But the save. He got all of that was it, was it, was it, was it. Smart defensive play to tap it away. Oh, you might call that the bank fire. Oh, the defender read that well. He read that bounce pass angle. Took it away. Gains the zone. It's a three on one. Oh. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. The Wolves have been handed two for interference. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. <laughs> and he's able to handle that one. Trying to dump it out, and they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, oh, that's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Oh, oh. Referee oh, blows the play dead. Oh. Another penalty coming up, and that'll do it for the power play. Horvat's going off for charging. He'll be heading to the penalty box for a couple of minutes. That's a charging penalty every day of the week. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on the ice. Puck control is critical on a four-on-four four as a game is right now. Face-off holds greater importance to me when you're down a man on each side. Oh, he'll feel that one. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Penalty coming up. Moves it to Svechnikov. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. I don't want to say it was premeditated, but she had this one lined up for a while. She had some anger built up here and took a long run at her opponent. That's a charge oh. penalty most every time. Sudbury's man advantage unit set to go to work on a four on three. This is by far the most dangerous power play there is. I think it's even more dangerous than a five on three. The penalty killers can't deny where the one timers come from. Sudbury's gained possession along the boards. Oh, Napoleon, Napoleon. And that one's broken up. Great poke check on the reach. Quick feed down low. Here he is, tries to tuck oh. it in. Grabs the puck in the corner. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Yeah, tries to gone. the paint. And there it is in the back of the net. They tell it on the power play. They were telling us before the game, the coaches, that they feel like their power play's going to start rolling a little bit. Well, they got one here. Sudbury's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. And now it's grabbed by Stamkos. But the save. He got robbed again. He's got to get his head up. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Made the stop on the play. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. And that's broken up with a stick in front. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. The Wolves take possession in the defensive end. And sends it just out of reach. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Foss. Good check. Yeah, the puck up. And that shot dies in traffic. He's in all alone. 
Oh, ah, c'est qui est fif pour vrai, c'est même pas un assis vrai goaler The officials made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Oh, Ray Ferraro yeah, yeah, yeah. is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Sudbury's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. The Wolves send their man advantage unit out once more. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Couldn't complete the play. Great hit on the play. Sudbury's ready to go on the attack. The Wolves gain control of it. Snapper from the slot. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Sudbury's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Couldn't find the intended target. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. The Wolves have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. And play resumes as the puck has dropped. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Moves it to Crosby. 
uses the force on that hit. Fails to find the open man. Sends a pass over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Move to the middle. Puts it on net. And there's the save. Another stop by the goaltender. Slippery's got the puck along the wall. I score! Okay, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. Slippery's oh, offense man. has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Oh, Taken by Stamkos. And it's a quick pass to Horvat. From the left wing, takes the feed. Solid check to slow him down. He's got control of it now from their own end. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Slippery's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Tri-Cities won the face-off deep in their own end. Slippery's got the puck along the boards. Why? Why? That's an understatement. Stamkos moves the puck. Into the offensive zone. Slippery's in transition. Tri-Cities got a hold of it along the wall. Slippery's got the puck in their own end. Nice pass. The Wolves played along the wing. Manages to hang on. Tri-City's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puts it towards the net and makes the save. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Boss caught for the pick. Interference the call. You can slow a player down, but it can't be that obvious. He gets involved in his lane of skating, and interference will be the call. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. Tri-City's got it along the wall. Takes a shot, can't get it to go. Gets in front of it, trying to clear the zone. No luck on that one. Yeah, remember that poor clear if this puck ends up in the net. Sudbury's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. Quick feed to Svechnikov. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. And he slides it quickly to Stamkos. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Break away! Stopped by the goaltender. Spectacular desperation play. The Americans get a hold of the puck along the boards. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Oh, a good well, a challenge being laid here. But the save. He's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. That opportunity is rejected. Sometimes you're in trouble. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Oh, target! Tri-City's got a hold of it against the wall. Look at the Savardian spinorama! You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Here's a short pass to Lack. Blast from the point! Stops him cold! Tri-City's grabbed a hold of the puck. Can't connect! Pass across to Marco. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Boss gains the zone. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. That pass goes a little sideways. Made the stop on that play. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. Stamkos caught red-handed. Tripping is the call. The puck ends up pulling the feet away. Puck picked up by LeJoie. And that shot gets caught in traffic. They get it out of the defensive end. The Wolves scoop it up along the boards. Nice zone entry from the right side. Tri-Cities penalty killers get a hold of it. Oh, man. 
He got hit again. Man, he must feel like the pinata out there. He's been on his backside a half a dozen or more times tonight. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. And they can't convert to the play. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Sudbury's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. Nice job tying up his opponent. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Marcos tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty. The 360 with the puck. Play is stopped and here's the official call. Tripping is the call that he's selling. He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. Sudbury's won the draw and they'll go to work. Centered out in front and they can't connect. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the officials stop the play as that one goes into the bench. Sudbury's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Francis opts to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Puck possession and stirring the pot. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. <laughs> Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Marcos got it along the wing. What a stop as he puts out the fire. The Wolves gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Stamkos. In front and a... Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Some pushing and shoving here, heating up. Yeah, the few words lead to a little bit more, it looks like. Slippery's got it, and they're on the attack. I know. Marco's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Scores! I know. Well, they were going to get a power play. You don't get one now. That goal will nullify the penalty. A lot of John back and forth Thank here. You. Is there ever? I mean, the guys look like they're pretty agitated. Puck grab by LeJoie. Drills them. Sudbury's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Boss is going off for interference. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Blanchard's going to smut. Oh, look at this after the whistle here. Getting nasty. Yeah, he's stirring the pot here. You get your glove into someone's face, you're trying to push him way back. Sudbury's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. That's all she wrote from this one. Well, that's it. Give them credit for their fearlessness, but that's about it, Ray. Bad decision to challenge these guys to a game.
can't get you You're stuck but only you can save you Running in circles only hurts you Stand up, you need to find a breakthrough You dug your grave but where you falling Keep playing games, you know you won't win No better day than that at the I can't just keep watching you falling Lay back, cause you need that Sit down, on your knees baby Listen, no I got you Your heart is strong, I feel it burning This life is yours and you're deserving Lay back, cause you need that Sit down, on your knees, baby Listen, no, I got you Relax, cut yourself out of The gauntlet's been dropped and the puck's about to be James Sabalski and Ray Ferraro. Let's get it on here for this EASHL challenge. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. There's been a healthy buzz for this one. Now it's time to see if it lives up to the hype. Stamkos has the puck against the half wall. That's a go. Look out! Oh, what a hit! Oh, what a stop! Oh, yeah. Scores! <laughs> oh, he funnels that one in, James. He goes to stop it. He ends up putting it in his own net. Tri-City's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. And a great save! Picked up along the wall by Crosby. With the backhand! Again the denial by the goaltender. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Here's a chance! To his teammate! And that one's turned away! Save made by the goalie. Francis covers it up, and he's just going to let the play breathe for a second here. He's been really good, but hasn't had a lot to do in this period, so you keep your team in the lead by controlling the game. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Quick pass to Crosby. Gains the zone from the right side. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Horvat. And comes up empty. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Bank pass off the boards. Comes up with the stop. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Tri-Cities ahead, 1-0. Seattle's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to Lass. And here's a pass to Tyler. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Pass back to the point. He scores! Oh. They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. That was good. The centermen glide into position. Tri-City's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And now he passes up to Stamkos. Slides the pass over to Lass. Handles the pass at center. Lowers the boom with that hit. Works it across to Crosby. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Seattle's done a great job without the puck. Nice pick off there. This game's close because of it. That was Solid coconuts. Contact. 
The Americans take it along the wing. Seattle's got the puck here in the open ice. Tyler's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck up from the left side. And he can't hang on after that hit. Here they are on the attack. Move to the middle, and that's picked off in front. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sends it across. Scores! What a shot! Now the play opened up, and now it's an odd man rush, and we get a look at it on the replay. Enough time to pick the spot and put the play away. Past the midway mark in this period. Seattle's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Great pass from the left wing. Here's the pass down low. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Pappas has it in the defensive end. Couldn't connect on that pass. Directs it on over to Stamkos. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh. Score! Goal goal bang bang play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in the one time, you're likely gonna score unless you hit the goalie. Tri-Cities had this game circled on the calendar for a while and they came ready. You can circle it, you can think about it, but then you gotta execute. This has been a fantastic start. Tyler's got it in the offensive zone. Shafts the puck away. Roy's hauled down, penalty on the way. Dismissed that chance. And there's the whistle uh, trip. stopping the play. Here's the official call. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Thunderbirds will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry to get over the boards in a hurry. Takes the pass. Nice poke check. Tyler's exploring options with the puck. The Americans have possession shorthanded and manages to clear the zone. Quick feed to last. The Thunderbirds carry it along the wall. Nice defensive robbery on that. Answers the call with a big save. Picked up along the boards by Pappas. Moves it quickly over to Tyler. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. It really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Ah, let's it go! He scores and serves up a drink at it! I don't know why goalies don't make sure that bottle isn't locked in there. That would really make me sour to see the bottle go up in the air. In the final moments of this period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Tri-Cities gain possession along the boards. The Americans move to the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop! That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Finds nothing but air on that shot. And it comes up with the save. Well, I'm liking the way they're getting after this shift here, James. Really good effort. Blocked in traffic. Textbook stopped by Thomas. Lass works the puck in his own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. There's the collision. Turns it away on the slap shot. There's the horn for period number one. Holy moly, what a shootout here in the first period.
All right, I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed. Along with the teams, we're ready to get things underway. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Tri-City's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Crosby's won the draw. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Sends the pass over. The Thunderbirds gain possession along the wall. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Last setting up against the wall. Tyler's hungry for that. Oh, he's falling away at this lead, James, trying to get this game back even. And there's the goal that does it. You want to use the player in front of the net as a screen if you can. This time it's just about perfect. I don't think the goaltender ever picks it up. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Horvath. Lack's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. In all alone! Oh, what a stop on the breakaway! Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Seattle's got it in the offensive zone. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Great heads up play by the defender. All alone. And he comes up with a big stop. I can't do it better than that. I'm still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Crosby's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Off the post. So close to this game being untied. But a really good chance hits the pipe and stays out. Tyler's going to play it against the half wall. Big time stop there. Tri-Cities looking to break out. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. And makes a save. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Seattle's on the attack. Tri-Cities got oh, the puck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Redirected. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Francis plays that like a boss. In great shape to make the stop. And then carries off a stick. Moves it to last. Over the line they come. And we've got a two-on-one. Oh, and he had the whole court. Oh, look at that. Here we go. we got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. And a penalty is coming up on this one. Right. Wasn't quite sure what the call is, but looks like interference here. Yeah, it's a good hit. Unfortunately, the other guy doesn't have the puck. It's a penalty. Can't maintain possession. Pappas plays it now. Seattle's got it across the line. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. The Thunderbirds have it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. And that puck leaves the zone. Seattle on the attack. Yeah, cycle it by. City's got it now. Oh. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. We got a penalty coming that's it. up on the play. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Sometimes you got to say, I'm in the wrong spot and let the guy go, but he tried to help out. He gets nabbed for interference. The Americans have a brief five-on-three looming. 
Another penalty that'll lead to a quick five on three here. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Gains the zone through center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Tyler's moving the puck through his own zone. Puts it in deep. Tri-City's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed at center. Quick feed to Lack. Here's a chance. Makes the save. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. The setters will glide into the dot. The Americans will go to work here in the offensive zone. And puts it high. My goalie had to dock that thing was so high. The Thunderbirds gain possession of the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Dying seconds of this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Picked off. lack has got the puck. Gets his stick on it. Denies him in front. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Seattle's won the draw. Pappas carries the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Tyler. Nothing doing on that. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Two minutes looming in the box on this one, Ray. She's digging for the puck. Unfortunately, she gets the player's feet, and when they go down, the call's made every time. The Thunderbirds win it. Slot shot from the point! Denies him with the save! Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Came up with the save on that play. A shot! Oh, and a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Tries to clear. And they finally catch a moment to breathe. Man, those guys are gas. Hard work to finally get the puck out. Sends it over with the stop. Gets down in front for the block. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Americans win the draw. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Seattle's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a chance! And now it's grabbed by Horvath. The Americans will play it in their own end. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Moves the puck along the half wall. Stones him in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. 22 seconds left on the clock. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Officials calling, charging. You agree with the call? I do. And in particular, when a player goes that far to make the hit, and doesn't really slow down, it becomes a dangerous play. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. moments away.
The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. Let's go. Tri-Cities shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Puck slid down the ice. Tosses it to Tyler. Takes a shot. Blocker save. And he's showing up big time tonight. Great defensive effort with the stick. Tri-Cities going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front bon. of the official. Désolé, j'ai entendu après que j'ai bien qu'il le choque. The Americans are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Trying to get in a position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet and off to the box he'll go. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. He scores! It's in! And that's three, Ray! I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. Seattle's got the one goal lead here in this third period. It was starting to look like the goals were going to be really difficult to come by, but they've got another one. Now you want to pressure the team, try and make them make another mistake. At the goal. There's the physical side. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a shot blocked in front. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Lots of time left in this period. Seattle's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. The Thunderbirds win the draw. Here's a short pass to Lass. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, a clutch save! Crosby slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. Let's see what the official says here. The Thunderbirds have been handed two minutes for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the plate. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Stamkos plays it against the boards. Quick shot. Blocked in traffic. Jostling for the puck but still maintains possession. A shot. Scores! No extra time needed here. They get onto the power play and take advantage of that manpower. They move the puck nicely and it's in the net. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Here's a chance. Scores! Guillaume, tu aurais dû me le demander si tu voulais. Two goals in just about a minute 20. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. From the neutral zone now. Look out. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Horvath's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Seattle's got the puck along the boards. Francis is going to hang on for a face-off here. Getting himself a little bit of a breather. He's been a busy man in no there today, kidding. and it's been outstanding. Seattle's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Here's a race for the loose puck. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 5-4 game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Oh, just wide! Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides it across, and that's picked off. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Tri-Cities got it in their own zone. Reads the play and forces the turnover. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. 
More than half the frame has been played here. Tri-City's got a one-goal lead. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Shuts him down. Can't connect. The Thunderbirds get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tees up. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Nice zone entry from the middle. Right out in front. Put the hard hat on here. What a hit. Oh, he looks like he's banged up there. He's going to try and finish the shift. He scores! New game! They showed no frustration as they tried to claw their way back in. One shot, one rebound, whatever it is. Now they're tied. The centermen glide into position. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Cuts into the paint. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Sharp reaction save. Moves across the point. Puts it on net. And that one stopped. Francis decides that it's time to breathe for a moment here. For him or for his team. He's been busy tonight. And in a close game, you want to make sure that you're focused in on the next play. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Americans played along the boards. Tri-Cities playing it from the side. Hammers it on net, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. No one home on that play. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Tri-Cities in now. Moved out in front. Oh, yeah, Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. now here coming up with a big goal in this third period their bench was pretty excited when that goal went into the net now they'll want to continue to be aggressive and don't let the opponent start to dictate the pace with possession along the wall oh looked like he had the corner but put it on the side of the net a lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff Seattle's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Tri-City's got the puck against the half wall. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Seattle's won the draw. Takes control of the puck. With the blast! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Seattle's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Turn that chance aside. That was and coconuts! Whips on it. No! Pass right in front! No! Scores! We're all tied up! Oh, it's getting to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it and they get it done. The Thunderbirds have come up with a huge third period goal here late to set up for a dramatic finale. They push hard for this tying goal, and now that they have it, don't take your foot off the gas. Try and get the winner before you get anywhere near overtime. Sends it quickly to Stamkos. Stopped by the goaltender. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Tyler's swooping in on the attack. The Thunderbirds get a hold of the puck. Right to the middle! Let's one go! A little too much height on that. Yeah, maybe take a little bit off and get it on the net. The goalie had to dock. Point shot! Can't get it to go! <laughs> There's the horn. Regulation time has expired. And we are off to overtime.
One will win, one will lose. Overtime will tell the story. All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you could cut it with a knife. Sudden death, overtime. The puck is dropped. Let's go. They've got numbers, and that's blocked away. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Tyler's got it against the boards. And that's picked off in front. The Americans look to start the transition game. Comes up with a stop. The Thunderbirds scoop it up along the boards. Here's a chance. Oh, we are still tied. What a hey, stop. Puck scooped up by Crosby. Oh, that's a good hit. Shot denied by the goaltender. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Seattle's game has a chance to win it, and he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Tri-City's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's over to Stamkos. Unable to reach that one. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tyler. Tries to the crease. Okay. He scores! OT winner, baby!
Oh là là.
Der Joy. Death Ghost, mon frère. Mon frère que t'as des droites.
Here we go. Clean sheet of ice. Challenge has been laid and it's been accepted. Alongside Ray Ferraro. On peut les planter eux autres. Ça fait mon bonheur en tabarnak. get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a wrist shot, big save. Tri-City's got possession while undermanned. Centering pass, can't connect. Oh, great use of the body on the play. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Here's a move in tight. Quick snap. Oh, and it goes off the stick. Tri-City's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Ruin Arando's got the puck along the wall. The Americans' penalty killers come up huge. Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 1-0 the score. Tri-City's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Directed over to Olette. Picks off the pass. Moves the puck to Lack. Horvat's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck over. And now he moves it to Crosby. Here's a chance. Just wide. Ruin Arando's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Cappy. Let's it fly. Oh, oh, he gives up the body on that. That's all the shot de Momon. Ruin Arando's still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Dylan's won the draw. Ruin Arando's got the puck against the boards. Set it out in front, and they can't convert to the play. Tries to get it over to Lack. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. Well, that's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. She can't believe that the call was made, okay. but I don't see uh, how yeah. it's anything but a penalty. Another chance here on the man advantage. 
Sometimes it's just your night, and the way that they've performed on the power play kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Puck moves back to the neutral zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. The Americans take it along the wall. Tri-City's got the puck against the wall. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Here's a shot! Bye-bye, Joe! <laughs> Tri-Cities come to play tonight, Ray. Still so much time left. This is the way you play, though. Just attack and never relent. Ruin Aranda's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Takes the feed. He's on! Oh, what a stop! Francis gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Tri-City's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Trying to shake the defender. All alone. Sends it over. Flips it across. Slides it across. Decides to think about it. Moves the puck down low. Takes a shot. Ready for the faceoff at center ice and narrowing that gap down to one now. Uh, that changes the whole mindset of this game. Now you're down just one. You're in the back half of the period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Americans have it now. Moves it to lock. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Huskies make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moves it over to Stamkos. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And a great scene! Cappy's lugging the puck. The Huskies gain possession along the wall. Takes the pass from the left wing. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Sends it over to Stamkos. And then <laughs> that he lui. And he totally whiffs on that one. Jostles oh, he's on this way. Break away. Too much congestion in front. The Huskies gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't catch up to the pass. And a delay <laughs> penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Well, that's Let's off the box. Let's Two minutes deux. for tripping. She swipes out the feet, and that penalty's going to be called all the time. Crosby's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. There it is. It's in. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter, James. I get a look at this immediately. It's going to be des sacrés, hein? Waved off hard immediately. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. The Huskies win it. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Slides the puck across. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. Alex, on t'a demandé de changer ta célébration. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. Ruined Arando's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. Tri Cities won it. Puck picked up in the open ice. Shot from the point. No. Oh, mon Dieu. This is what I was going exactly to What the fuck? The other team some momentum going into the next period. The centers will glide into the dot. Un uh, ballon de plage.
C'est moi qui a monté. <laughs> Along with the teams, we're ready to get things underway. Quick feed to McKinnon. Knocked off the puck. Tri City's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Stamkos. Mon frère s'attendait à ce que je sois à l'aile. Randall's looking to break out of their own end. Pass right on the doorstep. Glove save and he handles it with ease. Oh, he's trying to box him out. This getting a little testy. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Here he is, wristed on net. Steps up with the block. Tri-City's got the puck along the boards. Ruin Arando's ready to go on the attack. Oh, that's bien, that look. Tri-City's got the puck in their own end. Look out, a two-on-one. Turns it away. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Tosses it on to Cappy. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a move in close. Here's a chance out front. Knocked away. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Lacks stick handling in his own zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Oh, he the lost it for a second. Hey, hey, regains control of the puck. Crosby's got it in the defensive end. From the point, looks to make something happen. They scores! They tie it up! They stayed with it the entire time, Ray! I'm tired of listening to coaches talk about, oh, we followed the process. But the process is you don't get frustrated, you keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. More than half the period left to play. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Ruin Arandos won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. In close, denies him. Oh, excellent stop. That here works. comes the coconuts. Black's <laughs> looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Oh, what a oh. hit on the play. Get your head up or you run into that. Tri-City's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Taken by McKinnon. Scores! And he puts his team in front! James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Here's a short pass to Stamkos. Oh, and a misfire. Oh, that goes right out of the zone. Taken along the wall by Horvath. Now a quick pass to Stamkos. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him on the play. Ruin Arandos gained possession along the boards. And he makes the save. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. And he gives it over to Stamkos. Quick pass to Dylan. Oh, he rocked him. Driving right to the front. He was locked in there. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. I almost by fire. Ruined 
Bill's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. And that goes off a player. The Americans take it across the line. Grabbed along the board by Stamkos. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick shot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Stamkos is taken down, and the officials are signaling for a penalty. The Huskies are going to serve two for tripping here. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is oh, to be calm oh, oh, without. Oh, no! Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. Tri City's got it along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Puts it to the front oh. of the net. Here's the chance to get it out. Gotta be sure. Get it out. Cross corner dump in. Tri City's got it behind the net. Crosby's got it across the line. Here's a shot. Oh. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Tri City's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in the period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in the period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. And he stands tall in goal. <laughs> Getting into the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. Tri-Cities won the draw, and they'll go to work. Grabs control of it at the point. Sorry, sorry, and a nasty sorry. hack on the play there. Uh, that's going to be well worth the two-minute minor. Cappy's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Tri-Cities power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Some nights things just click along. This power play has been fantastic tonight. Comes to the front. She scores! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Ruin Arandos had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Not able to connect. Puck picked up by Crosby. Takes a wrist shot. Makes the stop with the blocker. Denies him again. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Alita. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. No room for that one to get through. Seriously close. He scores. Well, what a great way to go into the end of a period. You score, you put a mark up on the board, and you know that you've really put a dent in the other team's confidence. With just seconds to spare. Ruined Arandos giving themselves some positive vibes to go into the dressing room into after this period as they have evened things up here late. To go into the third period even would be a victory here for them. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end.
Challenge laid. Challenge accepted. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We are both fired up to watch this EASHL showdown. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Americans start with possession as we are now underway. All alone! Nothing doing! That plan didn't work. The Americans will play it from the defensive zone. There's the whistle penalty coming up. And they're going to be down a man. Delay of game the call. Lots of people don't like this penalty. I kind of do. James, the grass is 10 feet high. If you want to put it over it, you've got to make it, in most cases, an effort to get out. Nice job tying up his opponent. Good heads up play to knock it away. Tri-City's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. They clear the zone. Puck sent over to McKinnon. Takes the feed from the left side. Right out front. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Centering pass. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Here's a chance shorthanded to get it out of danger. Right in the slot. Denies him with a save. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Great poise here as he gets it back. Move to the middle. Makes a move in front. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. And now he angles it across to Dylan. What a steal in his own end. The Huskies gain possession in their own end. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Uh, 
And it looks like the officials are going to nab her for tripping here. Pretty easy call. Once she swipes out the opponent's feet, that arm's going to go in the air right away. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, James, statistically, we know that you score the first goal of the game. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. And he gets a paddle on that one. Picked up along the wall by Stamkos. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Uh, this is a good old-fashioned hooking the call here. He looked like he was water skiing. Man, you got to move your feet. You get your stick around his waist, you'll get called. Tri-City's got a five-on-three uh, and lots of time on their side. With such a long five-on-three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot. Take the best shot. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Americans carrying it along the blue line. Sends it down low. Moves it to Lack. Tri-Cities working the puck near the point. Right up front! And he comes up with it. And they can't connect! Oh. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Ruin Aranda's won the face-off deep in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Boom! What a hit! Ruin Aranda's moving it into the offensive end. The Americans have time for one last rush here on this power play. Tri-City's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't connect on that pass. From the point, they take control of it. Ruin Aranda's... Oh, my! What a rocket! She hammers this. One-time pass on the tee, and she crushes it. Tri-City's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? completely change your mindset even with lots of time left you can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a one nothing lead big save i know you like goals ferraro but that was impressive yeah great good nice save pal. Uh, big save by the goaltender once again the americans have been the better team in this first period more scoring opportunities and as a result more goals the Huskies take possession off the faceoff. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Passes right to the front. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. The Americans are being called for tripping. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. All right, dig it around for the pockets. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Another scoring opportunity looms here. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. The Americans played along the wing. Ruin Aranda's got the puck. Quick pass across to Dillon. Takes it into the slot. Scores! And they take advantage! A really confidently run power play right from the way they entered the zone the way they held on to the puck and moved it, and they found the open man. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We are all tied up in this one. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Lack. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Tri-City's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it to Crosby. Fails to find the open man. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Goes right to the crease. Scores! It's in the back of the net. There's another one. That's two goals in just under two minutes. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The centermen glide into position. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Pushes it across to McKinnon. Great poke check on the reach. Tri-City's got the puck now. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Tri-City's going to play it from the corner. Ruin Aranda's got it from behind the net. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Dylan's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. 
settles things down and gets control of it once again. Winds up, lets it go, turns it aside. Trying to get it out and manages to clear the zone. Takes a shot, stopped by the goaltender. Here in the late goings of the period, the Huskies are looking to build on this one goal lead. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Slap. one of that she had a pretty good chop at the opponent there i could hear it when her stick hit the opponent's pants great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up the huskies get a hold of the puck along the boards the official signaling for a penalty as play is called Pretty easy call for the official, I think, James. Is, no kidding. He came from a long way, and you could see that this was going to have a bad ending. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. He scores! <laughs> Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. Play set to resume. Tensions rising. Didn't take much to get this heated up. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Good defensive effort to poke it away. That pass goes a little sideways. Tri-Cities penalty killers get a hold of it, and the puck leaves the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. And that's just out of reach. Strong use of the body. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Can't connect. And they fail to go tape to tape. Maintains possession. The Huskies look to start the transition game. Here's the pass. The Huskies' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Slides it diagonally to Lack. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Couldn't complete the play. There's the whistle from the lines. Oh, he ripped that right after the... And we got a fight. It doesn't even... C'est ce que je... C'est ce que je la pousse le pet. But everybody is going to defend the goalie oh, when you shoot the puck that late after a whistle. Oh, and he caught him right there. Boom! Pretty much doing. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. running together at high speed eventually somebody's gonna get and stir in the pot a little friction and all of a sudden guys are getting heated oh, both teams lined yeah. up in the face-off circle and we've got a fight He's going to need some help here. He came out on the short end of the stick on that in that fight. Uh, it doesn't look very good for him. Well, this crowd's still in a bit of a frenzy after what we just witnessed moments ago. Both teams lining up for the faceoff. Here's a chance! 
First period comes to an end. I'll tell you what, anybody who bought a ticket for this one is feeling like they got their money's worth. 